My name is John from Numby. Um, I'm from Peterborough, which is a city just north of London. My name is Jana Mishkova, I'm 25 years old. Uh, I'm originally from Russia. My name is Matt Rickett, I'm 24. I'm from Scotland originally. Uh, I studied the GDL in London and then afterwards got this internship and here I am in India. We found young people that we knew abroad who were not able to get internships where they were. Uh, in the US, in the UK, etc. We also found, we also realized sitting over here that the experience you can get in India is quite amazing, you know, in terms of the exposure to companies, to NGOs, to a whole bunch of other things, as well as the culture and uh, people of India. So we thought it'd be a good combination and having done internships ourselves, we knew that differentiating yourself was key and coming to India was a great way to do that. I got an email through from the university saying that we have an opportunity for internships in India. Are you interested? Um, and I thought, that's an opportunity I can't miss. There's a representative from Capital Placement uh, and he introduced me to the internship. I did a lot of Indian history as part of my degree, my undergraduate degree. Um, and so I thought I'd really like to go to India at some point. So I'd never been, and also was trying to get more experience in law. So I thought it would be the perfect combination of the two. My mum was very concerned. It's like, you're going to another country. You'll be there alone. You're a girl. Everything can happen to you. But when I was checking online, Bangalore is one of the safest cities in the world. And so just everything will be OK. There's nothing better than being met at the airport. And we take them to our secure, comfortable accommodation. We make sure that they're settled in. and We provide a local orientation. We take you on a walking tour of the neighborhood, we give you a map, we give you an Indian SIM card with our phone numbers, call us if you have any doubts whatsoever. We also walk you into work on the first day and make sure that you have good arrangements for food, transportation, laundry, you're comfortable. I think I came in trying to keep as much of an open mind as possible. Um, I didn't really know what to expect to be honest. You hear all sorts of stories about being in India and working in India, so I thought it's probably best to go in um, with a full expectation that anything could happen. The first few days are a bit hectic, a bit crazy, but once you've got over the jet lag and the traffic, you start to have a really good time and get more comfortable just sort of traveling around and enjoying yourself. For us, it's more about matching, in that not everybody wants to work at a PricewaterhouseCoopers, and we want to see that the skills that you can develop in the setting are the most appropriate for your requirements. So a range of smaller companies to larger companies and mainly with an international outlook or something that will be understandable when you go back to your home country. I'm looking to go into commercial law, kind of transactions and things like that. Um, but JSA does a lot of corporate law but I'm also quite keen to get experience of that because I don't have my training contract yet. It's really good to get experience of the different areas of law and try and see what I'm interested in. As a company is smaller, you can play your part in it. It's like you're doing the work, proper work, not just giving coffee or listening like how the lawyers talk. You're like one of them, you're a lawyer as well. It's got some really high quality work and really good lawyers, but it's not too sort of huge and intimidating. Everyone's really friendly. Uh, the office is nice, it's sort of quite intimate and you, you get to sort of get to know people around you. So um, it's a nice balance between the two. All the interns are staying in the same location. They're either in a service apartment or you know in a hotel and all the rooms are on the same floor typically. So they all, and they all come here to meet people to get around and do things. And I think travel usually is more fun with a whole bunch of people. They're also all young, they're all, they're all adventurous. They want to try different things. Our trip to go down to the Bandipur National Park was pretty incredible. Uh, we rented a taxi for the weekend saw uh, elephants, monkeys, warthogs, uh, lots of different animals. We got to touch elephants, which was pretty amazing, something I've always wanted to do and got to do for the first time. When you first arrive, they immediately give you warnings of, be careful at night, elephants and leopards do roam freely around the site. And I think that's something that I wasn't ever really expecting to go and, and do. We went to tea plantation and coffee plantation as well. Uh, so I love coffee and it was very interesting to see how it's growing, how it's roasting and so you can see how it's produced. I have actually been most surprised in India by the variety of food. Uh, when you come out you get told, oh, you'll be, you'll be sick of curry within, within a week. But it's actually a metropolitan city. You get anything you get anywhere else in the world. You get beef burgers, you get pizza, you get pasta, you get what you expect in any city. 
One of the things that I've really struggled with, Indians shake their heads when they mean yes, which it takes so much getting used to and is completely impossible. So I, I tend to shake my head quite a lot when I mean no, uh, and sometimes I don't even say no. So there's a lot of times when that happens in restaurants or, or things like that, when you end up ordering things that you didn't actually want to order. Everyone's a walla. Chai walla, pizza walla, <laughs> you get a good variety of wallas. But other than that, I'm actually surprised how English is, is so widely spoken. I think uh, my career was lacking in international experience, and I think that's something I've definitely sought to get from coming to India. Um, and I really do feel like I've been able to get a kind of a stronger grasp of, of how um, law works internationally as well as domestically. You kind of get a perspective which you otherwise don't have. It really helps your CV, but at the same time, it is a huge cultural experience. And for you personally, it, it's you know, great fun, and you'll learn a lot and have a wonderful time. So I think to combine the two is quite rare. I think it will be very useful for my CV uh, because it's international experience and shows for, for people for you going to work that you're open-minded, that you can deal with problems, that you're not afraid of like handling responsibilities and go somewhere outside your box. We want to make sure that when you come to India, that you enjoy all the best that India has to offer, from the street life, the food, the travel, the culture, and very high quality professional experience. It is a fun experience.